And so Kato has successfully cleared out the Yaogwai tunnels as the Vagrant and walked away with the Sneak Bobblehead. And we shall continue northward. Um, off camera, I had gone to um, Evergreen Mills real quick to go pay a visit to Smiling Jack again, force him to repair his uh, wonderful yet terrible shotgun again for our own use. And yeah, we're going to fast travel to Charnel House um, a little, little ways east and uh, continue north on the road from there. And hit. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that's mean. Okay, so there was a mine, apparently, right at the fast travel location for Charnel House that I failed to disarm. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, so I'm gonna quick save. I see two right now. There's one here. And one over here. That's just rude. <laughs> and I hope that doesn't become a become an ongoing thing. Here's another one. There is mines everywhere here. Oh man. Oh okay. Oh. I'm gonna need to heal. Some bubblegum noodles and Nuka Cola and purified water later. Uh isn't there another one? Yeah, there's one right there. Right there. They still blend in super well. Oh boy. So I'm gonna go into this this spot here. It looks like it's a, a little bit more clear when it comes to traps. Something cool that I saw that I wanted to make mention of. Um, one of the comments of the earlier episodes. Uh, somebody was apparently starting out in Fallout 3 and was wanting some advice on you know tips and tricks and stuff like that. And it's something that I really like seeing fellow wastrels helping each other out. And I wanted to just say thank you to you guys. You, you, that's, that's something awesome that I like to see. And uh, basically the initial goal of, of my channel in general, helping each other out. So yeah, that's really cool to see. Keep doing that. I, I really, really enjoy seeing that uh, people helping each other out. Not just, not just on the Let's Play here, but, but on, the, on the guides themselves too. Every once in a while, I see in the comments sections that, you know, people are being good to each other. Uh, we all share the same wasteland. Why not help each other out while we traverse it? Um, something devious is happening. Ah, oh, it's a dog. Um, so is there something going to happen with this dog? Hey, you get bored? Come and get me. Come on. Come on, dog. There we go. So there, there's a mailbox here to something. Not sure to what. Ooh, nice. Pre-war bo book and some Nuka Cola. Sounds like a good time to me. I'm not. I'm not sure what what pre-war book it is, but you know, could be it. Could be just a college psychology book for all I know. Oh, that is Fort Bannister. I really don't have the urge to raid that place yet. Not at all. So let's let's go further along the road. Ooh. I sense a trap. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's not the kind of trap I sensed, but um all right. So we had a dog sneak up on us. It's not going well so far when it comes to sneaking. I'm in broad daylight though too, which you know has its own effects to my ability to sneak. Good night, robot. I wonder if these robots dream. That's one of the insightful questions of the episode. <laughs> do these do these robots have have AI or or kind of a virtual intelligence? Not sure. Not sure. I mean, there's the brain bots that have basically have human brains trans transferred into a machine and then programmed as, as if, at least I think, programmed as if they are a machine. I don't know. Something to think about, I guess. You guys psyched to see some, uh, some synths in Fallout 4? I sure am. So I'm gonna take toughness. 
didn't realize that it was pretty pretty nerfed uh, in um, Fallout New Vegas compared to this one. Uh, Ten percent overall damage resistance increase. That's a lot. And oh yeah, and the difference is um, there's multiple ranks in New Vegas uh, as opposed to Fallout Three. But yeah, I'm gonna take toughness this round. And got some some nice goodies from these boxes here. It's funny that that nobody nobody even bothered to come and loot these things. They're right right at a crossroads, and not far from Fort Bannister, where there's a bunch of Talon Company mercs. I don't know. I don't know why. Something really cool that I wanted to share with you guys um, before I had started this series. Oop. Before I had started this uh, this let's play, I wanted to tell you how many. How much space worth of Skyrim footage I went through and deleted so that I could create this series. Um, for my project drive, um, I, if you plan to have you know any video production or anything of that sort, have a separate hard drive. It will save you a lot of grief. Um, 500 gig hard drive for projects alone. That's you know everything video related. 225 gigabytes of that hard drive were all Skyrim stuff. That's uh, how much Skyrim footage and images and sound effects and such I had of Skyrim when I was putting together the, the guide uh, revisit to Skyrim. Because whether you were aware or not, I had done guides on the Daedric artifacts before. Um, but I... Ooh, Quantum. There's another spot to take note of. Yeah, the first time I did the uh, the Daedric Artifacts guys, it's like the very first videos I did for this channel, and uh, I can't I can't watch them anymore. <laughs> um, as I was mentioning about you know how my channel started uh, when I was traveling the Yalgwai Yalgwai tunnels. Yeah, I I can't get myself to watch them anymore because I I knew, and that's why I did the revisit. I knew that I could do better. So I did a revisit, and it seems like people like them, so that's good. That's great. But I, I just honestly, I'm really burnt out completely on Skyrim because it's where my channel started, and I kind of felt like I was, you know, somewhat backtracking. Um, glad that I did the revisit, but glad that I'm done with it kind of thing. <laughs> it's just like, uh, you know, doing, going back and doing any of your own, um, like, you know, artworks or writing or anything to that effect, you know, going back and redoing something from scratch, um, it's, it feels kind of redundant after a while. I don't know where these scorpions came from. Um, they seem to be rather common. Ow! What is going on? Ah, uh, wastelanders. Hope this isn't you guys. <laughs> Those are some angry wastelanders. How mean. We got a sledgehammer. I got a sledgehammer. There, yeah, had some, uh, took some Yaogwai meat also. It increases your damage, which is really cool. Yeah, Yaogwai meat increases your damage by 10%. And, uh, depending on how many of these crazed wastelanders I run into. Um, there's a wastelander over there. I do have a sniper rifle. And he hasn't seen me yet. If he stops, just for a sec. Just, just for, just for a moment. It stops. Really? Really? I did hit him. I swear I did. Replay if necessary. Uh, he's done. There's another one over there. He was aware of my presence. Uh, let's take care of him the old fashioned way. <laughs> It was about time for an explosion, I think. Okay, I think that's that's all there is for them. 
Yeah, this is a cool little encampment. It's unmarked, um, but it has a whole bunch of shacks around that you can go into and loot. Oh, there's a sawed off or a combat shotgun. Not sawed off. Sawed off is lame in comparison to the terrible shotgun. Um, combat armor. Can I carry that? Barely. All right. Let's hope we run into a vendor. Okay, there's one shack. Uh, there's one over here. I think that one you can walk into also. Ah, uh, something went down here. Oh, man. Oh. You all right, everybody? I didn't mean to disturb you. You're <laughs> it's like one combat shotgun and one laser rifle. And all of these people. Now, did they kill each other? Or did they try to stop an oncoming force? I like trying to trying to play detective and figure out, you know, how these people how these people died. You know, it's one of those one of those fun things. And sometimes uh, I know the devs like to leave something really funny and entertaining, um, like different ways people pass in the wasteland, uh, skeletons in in funny positions and all that. Okay, repaired the terrible shotgun with the two combat shotguns I found. That's really nice. Nice to have. Some carton of cigarettes. I'm gonna check over at this one really quick. Don't think... I remember there being something over here. I don't think there was an entrance, but there was... something. Yes. Yes, ammo boxes. Wow, that's a lot of electron charge packs that I'm not going to be using. Because Vagrant, not Technician. I'm I'm honestly really surprised a lot of you didn't didn't pick Technician because of, you know, Wazer Rifle. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe this won't be my only playthrough of Fallout 3. I'm you know, I'm completely at the at the mercy of, you know, you wonderful wastelanders on uh, you know, what I should really let's play, because I, I, I just want to play a game. I just want to play. Playing's fun. Yep. One more shack. And a wastelander. Goodbye. Wastelander is done. He didn't feel a thing. All that damage coming at him. Another stealth boy. And, uh, skill book. What was that, two skill books from here now? It's a good spot to stop. Perfectly healthy. And ready to go. Yeah. So let's continue north towards the pit. Quick save real quick, just in case there's any... Unbelievable, unwanted, unsavory encounters. Something to that effect. Um, that's a pretty fun location over there. Let's go over there. Something crawling towards me. <laughs> I'm okay with the rad scorpions because you can hear them perfectly fine when they're coming towards you. Um, I mentioned in the podcast... Uh, least favorite uh, enemies were the um, not the Cazadors. The Cazadors are pretty easy for me now. Um, of course, based on level, like if you fight a Cazador like level 5 or lower like you're gonna die. Same with a Deathclaw. You're gonna die. Or you just, you're just extremely lucky if you succeed to get away. Or even kill them. Um, but Night Stalkers were my least favorite um, because you can't hear them when they're behind you. The, their foot noise is very, very quiet. And not not one of my favorite things. So this power station here has a bunch of raiders just hanging out, having a good time. And they know where I am, apparently. Let's ruin their day, shall we? Come 
Come on, Raiders. You can do better than that. I'm gonna take care of you first. You're my biggest threat at close range. Oh, the way the sun's hitting that. That was really nice. Two down. I know there was a third somewhere. I forgot the name of this power station. I healed up a little bit too. Running out of inventory space. Yep, there's another raider over here. The MDPL mass relay station. This is where you get Torture's Mask. One of the unique um, mask helmet type pieces. And there's a raider down below called Torture. And guess what he wields? A flamethrower. <laughs> Oh, you got nothing. That was a Chinese pistol. Nothing. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. So now we'll go inside. And I was kind of hoping that there was like a bed out here somewhere. Place to rest. So I wouldn't get destroyed when I walked in. Oh. I have the initiative for once. So let's use this to our advantage. How about a stealth boy? There's torture there. And their bodyguard. Here they come. <laughs> Nobody. You know, I'm a ghost. I almost feel sorry for this poor bastard. Oh, no, we got shut by. <laughs> we got stuck behind the door. Hiding from me? Stand down, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I could have just like left him behind the door, but uh, I'm pretty sure raiders or any any NPCs really. Um, if they get stuck, they end up just teleporting. Yep, there's Torture's Mask. Big guns and explosives. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna take it anyway. Gonna need to find a vendor, vendor sooner rather than later, though. Another laser rifle, nice. Another hunting rifle. Guns and bullets, glad I saw that. Okay, so we're gonna rest here really quick again. And grab some drugs. So do you guys find out um, what the key ingredient? Um, I should shouldn't say key ingredient. I should say how jet is made. Um, look it up sometime. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was covered on Shoddy Cast at some point. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, you should should find out the origin of Jet. And one of my main gripes about the newer Fallout games is is uh, how the heck did it end up on the East Coast is, is one of my main uh, consistency type questions. Um, because it was invented after the Great War in New Reno. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious as to how it managed to travel all the way over here. As well as Harold. That's that's an entirely different rant. 